to my alpha males out there, it has to be said that you have to prep. And when you're prepping, make sure you tailor your words for your situations so that they can control your outcomes. I want to read this passage to you. It's not any biblical things or anything out of any religious text. So anybody who may be whatever you are, you are accepted here. We don't spread our beliefs of any religion or anything like that. None of that. We just get straight back to being the essence of a man. Drugs control my life. So don't try to convince me that I can be sober. Because at the end of the day, I can't do this. And I'm not going to lie to myself by saying I will prosper and succeed. So I will remind myself that I am a selfish, terrible person. And nothing you tell me will make me believe I deserve a good life. Because no matter what, I will always be addicted. And I wonder if things will get better. Because when I look in the mirror, I will always think, can I recover? What you have to understand is your life has purpose. That beginning that you read to yourself, if you retrace the steps, you can get back to who you was. Allow me to read it in reverse. Can I recover? Because when I look in the mirror, I always think things will get better. And I wonder if I will ever be addicted because no matter what, I deserve a good life. And nothing you tell me will make me believe that I am a selfish, terrible person. So I will remind myself I will prosper and succeed. And I'm not going to lie to myself by saying I can't do this because at the end of the day, I can be sober. So don't try to convince me that drugs control my life. You can retrace the steps and get better for yourself and get better for others and people who trust in you and believe in you. We are the land of second chances. Now, certain things you just can't come back from. Murder being one. Rape and all that and everything being two. Even physically abusing women that you have not went through the trials and tribulations to explain thoroughly what you were going through, all of your traumas, and you got help. If you put your hands on a woman, in that moment, you are a bitch. You are less than a man. But I'm willing to forgive if you address your traumas and you address those traumas with that woman and you pay for her to go through that therapy that you caused. Careful what you tell yourself. It can be said that a lot of people don't know what they don't know because they never tried to explore within themselves. There is no such thing as self-love, only self-care. You want to be a lover of yourself, be by yourself, don't bother anybody. It's impossible. Here at American Alpha Male, exactly how we operate is with directness. Be direct in your attack. Be direct, be direct in exactly what it is that you want. If you're unstable, we cannot help you. It's hard to build a foundation on shaky grounds. It's terrible to ever even think that you're ever going to be something if you never said what it was. They often tell the story that a person with no path and no journey only sits there and moves in circles and think that they're doing something. Low-hanging fruit will not be accepted here because we check the fruit. The lies in which you will tell yourself or the story in which you will tell yourself, if you reverse it, it works itself out better. I know what you're thinking. Damn, Nash, can you repeat that? I'll go ahead and do it one last time. It says drugs control my life. So don't try to convince me that I can be sober because at the end of the day, I can't do this. And I'm not going to lie to myself by saying I will prosper and succeed. So I will remind myself that I am a selfish, terrible person. And nothing you tell me will make me believe I deserve a good life because no matter what, I will always be addicted. And I wonder if things will get better because when I look in the mirror, I will always think, can I recover? And that's the story, and that's the part where a lot of us are struggling to get to where we need to be. Where do you need to be, though? You need to be on a path that's pointing you towards what you need to do. Some of you guys complain and complain and complain, but you never built a home, you never shown a foundation. Let me tell you something. You're only two $15 an hour jobs away from just making four grand. From being worth damn near $50,000 a year. Now, I know for some people, they're going to look at that and they're going to go, man, that's not enough money and all this and everything like that. We are alpha males. We get it done. 
We'll run the numbers so you can understand exactly what I mean. You're a full-time job and a part-time job. And we're just talking about working Monday through Friday. You can have the weekends for yourself. Five days a week, you are going hard. Then on that Saturday and on that Sunday, you need to learn how to develop a skill that you can actually get paid a lot of money for. If you can do this for three years, you'll be at the top of the food chain. You'll be able to have your pick of the litter. We'll get through the numbers real quick. But I want to reread it. Once you figure out, stop telling yourself that BS from where you started. And start to go back and then reverse. Retrace your steps. Now to yourself, can I recover? Because when I look in the mirror, I will always think things will get better. And I wonder if I will always be addicted. Because no matter what, I deserve a good life. And nothing you tell me will make me believe that I am a selfish, terrible person. So I will remind myself. I will prosper and succeed. And I'm not going to lie to myself by saying I can't do this. Because at the end of the day, I can be sober. So don't try to convince me that drugs control my life. And not put it even a step further. Don't try to believe that people control your life. All you need is that spark. Now for those of you who deserve and who need it and everything... And somebody who's looking up to say to me and saying, bro, $15 ain't enough. Let's be realistic. These jobs out here are hiring for about $18. All right, let's do it. We'll do $18 an hour. $18 an hour. We'll multiply that by 40. That's 720 hours. I mean $720. We'll multiply that by four. That's four weeks. $2280. Divide that by half. You get fourteen forty. Are we understanding why we got half? Are we understanding why we got half? Then we'll add that by two eight eight zero. See, this is what I want to show you. This is what I would like to show you. If I move too fast, it's perfectly fine. I'll do it all over again. Let's say you find a job that is paying you $18 an hour for 40 hours a week. We're going to add that to $720. You're going to multiply that by four. $2,888. Remember that. You're going to divide that by two. Because you're going to add an additional 20 hours onto your work week. You need to work 60 hours a week. That's going to get you your 1440. Then we're going to bring back the original 2880. You take your 2880, that is your full time job plus your part time job, just at $18 an hour. You are looking at 4320. That's all it takes to get a life that will live, I mean, that will give you some type of comfort. Work it five days a week. You can do it. If we multiply that by 12, because this is your monthly. One, two. You are now worth $51,840. So don't tell me you can't do it because you absolutely can do it. Some of us don't know better because we weren't shown better. You are now shown better. You have zero excuses. Get into some stocks. Get into some IRAs. Stop wasting your weekends with people who don't matter to you. Within the next five years, most of them are going to be gone anyways. And they're going to be gone because life challenged them and they stepped up to the challenges. Careful what you tell yourself. These things matter. They always have and they always will. And the fact that some people don't understand that or won't ever understand that, that's their fault. But now you have no excuse. This is why men matter. This is why men matter. Because it's not what you're living. It's what you're saying while you're doing it. The recovering addict, the recovering addict has two ways to talk to themselves. You can either say, 
man, I'm a drug addict, I'm a drug addict, I'm a drug addict. Or you could say, I'm getting better, I'm going to be better, I'm going to stay better. This is why you matter. We got a bunch of people that come out here and say whatever they want to say. They'll take stabs at men and they'll say, I never met a man a day of my life. Well, now when they come around you, they'll absolutely overstand what a man actually is. And if they don't want to accept it, don't take what they say as acceptance. Some of these ladies could never point out a man because they've never been around one. Some of you have been around your mother your whole life, so you understand in some semblance what a woman is. But they haven't even gotten that. Forgive them and move the hell on. Do not waste your time. If you waste your time, by definition, you are taking your money throwing it in a wind and expecting it to come back. Be purposeful in your relationships from your friends to your potential girlfriend that should be your wife soon. Now, if this is too heavy for you, I understand. Being a man is definitely hard. Right now, I'm sitting in my business and still doing business. See, I have four streams of income and working on a fifth and a sixth because I'm not satisfied. I have a fear of going broke, even though the last three years I have been hitting for six figures, six figures, six figures. It doesn't matter. You feel this damn thing shaking? That's somebody unloading right now. This is my ability to still maintain and make money. You have a purpose, you matter. Why you matter is because you are supposed to be a leader. And it's hard, and I understand that. Make sure you subscribe to keep hope alive.